The Ansem Macau Group of Companies has recorded a robust first quarter with increases in all sectors. According to Chief Executive Officer Anthony N. Sabga III, the group's executives remain steadfast and confident. Here's more. Ansem Macau Limited released the group's financial results for the three months ending March 31, 2023, and revealed increases over all sectors. Revenue is up $149 million or 10% to $1.595 billion. Um, profit before tax up $81 million or 102% to $160 million. Comparisons over the banking and insurance, automotive trading and distribution, construction, manufacturing, packaging and brewing, and media, retail and parent sectors have all recorded increased revenue when compared to 2022's quarter one performance, with the completed acquisition of Colfire doubling the group's market share in the Trinidad and Tobago general insurance market. Carib Brewery USA and its business relationship with the Florida Bear Company has seen some challenges. However, the group recorded great strides following rebranding efforts of the Carib brand, with Shandy operating almost independently a move that has augured well in the North American market, as Shandy Sorrell is the number one seller under Carib Brewery USA. It was strategically important for us to refresh brand Carib as we attempted and sought to take it further into the global markets so that it could, it could stand up and fight and, and have a, a different kind of presence. So you would have noticed there's some really enriching components of that, uh, of that badge and brand that that, you know, giving us I don't think we had a, a negative comment at all. Everything no, was positive. No, no, okay. Group Chief Executive Officer Anthony N. Sabga III expressed confidence for the future. Uh, our executives remain very encouraged by the possibility uh, and the goals that we have set for ourselves. Uh, there's no decommitment from them. We still see quite a rich opportunity, notwithstanding some softening in certain areas of the economy. Uh, we, do see, uh, we do see ourselves remaining pretty much uh, faithful to the agenda, uh, the action plan, and the, uh, the outlook results that we anticipate for 2023. Ayana Carter, TTT News.